Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Angie, and I have a two-year-old daughter named Isabella. For today's video, I wanted to start doing some and cooking so for today's videos. first cooking video, I wanted to do beef stew in the Instant Pot. And so if you are interested and you want to see how I make my beef stew, come along, join me in the kitchen, and let's get cooking. Let's go. All right, so I have all the ingredients for the beef stew laid out on the counter. We have stewing beef, onion, garlic, potato, some peas, tomato sauce, carrots, beef broth, oil, cornstarch, salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce, Italian seasoning, and I also will be adding, it's not part of the recipe, but I like to add it myself, is these bay leaves. So usually I'll put about three of them um, in the Instant Pot. So these are all the ingredients, and I will make sure to link the recipe down below in the description box so you will know the exact measurements for this recipe. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I just poured in the oil, and now I'm going to put the seasonings on for the meat. It's the Italian seasoning. The black pepper. And some salt. Okay. And then I'll mix it up in the bowl. I like doing it this way um, to make sure that all the seasonings are mixed into the meat really well because in the recipe it tells you to do um, to saute the meat and then sprinkle the seasonings in the instant pot but I prefer to do it in this bowl first and then transfer the meat into the instant pot. I'm going to quickly peel and then chop up the potatoes, do the onions, and then the garlic. Alright, now that I have everything chopped up, I'm going to set my Instant Pot to the saute mode. And then let it warm up. And once it's warm, I'll throw in the meat to just have it all brown and then throw in the rest of the ingredients. I'm just going to put some oil inside. All right, I don't know if you can hear it sizzling, but when it starts to sizzle, that means 
you're ready to throw in your meat to saute, but be careful. some salt and then I also like to add some bay leaves there we go and we'll mix it So since everything's all mixed up, we'll put the lid on and then cook it on high pressure for 35 minutes. All right, so we put the lid on and we made sure it is on sealing mode. And so we're gonna turn this to stew and make sure it is on high pressure for 35 minutes. All right, so we'll leave it on for 35 minutes and after that, we'll allow the pressure to release naturally for 10 minutes before doing the quick release. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Hi guys! I'm Bella. How old are you, Bella? Two. Two. Did you just wake up from that? Oh. <laughs> Don't put it back, you're going to break it. Okay, say bye. 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 Alright, quick release. Do a quick release of what is left in there. Alright. 
This is the cornstarch water mixture, which we'll put into the stew to thicken it. Then we'll add the peas on top. We add them at the very end so they don't get mushy. Time to try it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yum yum. Yum yum. Yum yum, Bella. Yeah. Bella says yum yum. Yum yum. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. All right, so that's how I make beef stew in the instant pot. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and turn your bell notification on so you know whenever I post new videos as well as leave a comment down below. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.